Welcome to the Vistatech.com, a blog on free Windows Vista tweaks and tips. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about one of the cool new ways to boost performance with Vista by using ReadyBoost. Now, ReadyBoost allows you to use a flash drive like a USB pen or an SD card to boost up your system's RAM. Now, just to give you a bit of a background, uh, ReadyBoost improves performance in several different ways. Uh, firstly, it increases the size of what's known as the prefetch cache in Vista. Now, the prefetch cache stores commonly used files and data that your programs use while they're running on your system. Now, it's been known that some flash drives can retrieve data more quickly than a hard disk, and so commonly used data and programs may run more quickly when you use ReadyBoost. Not to mention that ReadyBoost also frees up additional RAM that would otherwise be used by prefetch. Now before you go out and you buy a flash drive, you want to make sure it's compatible with ReadyBoost. So I'm going to give you a website. It's called www.grantgibson.co.uk forward slash M-I-S-C forward slash ReadyBoost. Now this site gives you a free compatibility list um, for different flash drives based on the manufacturer and the model. And so you can go in here and make sure that your device is compatible uh, before you try it with ReadyBoost or before you buy it. Now if you missed the link for this site, I still have it here on the blog down here. And it's under the Use Vista ReadyBoost to speed up your PC entry. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and we're going to demo how to use ReadyBoost. So I have a 2 gigabyte SanDisk SD card and I'm going to go ahead and slide into my SD slot and what happens is Vista's autoplay automatically detects that my card is compatible with um, ReadyBoost so I have the option to speed up my system using Windows ReadyBoost. So I'm going to click on this option and then a configuration screen will pop up momentarily. Okay, and on here, I want to select to use this device with ReadyBoost. And this slider here gives me the option of how much of memory on my device I want to use with ReadyBoost. Now, if you wanted to, you could use part of the card uh, for ReadyBoost, and the other part you can actually use to store other files that you have. Now, the minimum uh, allowable uh, memory with ReadyBoost that I'm aware of is 250 megabytes, but you probably want to keep it at around at least a gig uh, to really enhance your performance. Now, I'm going to actually elect to use the entire capacity of my SD card for ReadyBoost. So I'm going to slide all the way to the right, click Apply, and then click OK. And that's all that you need to do. Now, if you go on to your computer, and here's my um, SD card. You can see that it has this little icon, ReadyBoost. So you can see that it's already working with ReadyBoost. Now, um, you don't have to go through this exercise anymore once you do it the first time. So if you slide your SD card out and in multiple times, uh, Vista will automatic automatically recognize that it's configured to use with ReadyBoost. And it will, it will run. You will no longer have to do anything more. So that's it, and I'd like to thank you.